Let's see who wants to be on my show this week. Okay, Mom, do I look okay? Yeah, you look good. Go. Okay. Hi, Dr. Road. My name is Jennifer, and I really, really need your help. Ten years ago, when I visited the underdeveloped countries in South and Central America, I met this guy named T. Cruzy. Oh Not as beautiful as you. Oh, oh my! My name is Jennifer. What's your name? My friends call me T. Cruzy. Oh, T. Cruzy. Why you come back to my place for a drink? Um, sure. I would love to. Welcome to my humble abode. Oh. Would you like something to drink? I'm sure. I will take it. After I got back from the trip, I was totally fine. But now, 10 years later, I'm having fever, fatigue, rash, body aches, headache, loss of appetite, and nausea. I even have a regular heartbeat. Like in general, normal heartbeat sounds like boom, 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 boom. But mine sounds like boom, boom, pow, boom, boom, pow. You know, I'm I'm just afraid that I'm dying of a broken heart. I would love to be on the show to get help from your world-renowned love doctor, Dr. Pepper. This girl, Jennifer, really seems like she needs to figure out what's going on with her heart. She'll be a perfect candidate to meet Dr. Pepper, our love doctor. Hello, everybody. I'd like to introduce you to Dr. Pepper, our love doctor, and Miss Jennifer, the girl with the irregular heartbeat. Dr. Pepper, let's hear what you were able to find out about T. Cruzy, the mysterious guy from South America. Well, I was able to investigate in South America to find who I think is the most likely suspect. Here's a short clip on my experience on finding the Gotta suspect. get dip. Gotta get dip. Gotta get dip. Gotta get dip, 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 dip. Boom, boom, boom. Gotta get dip. Boom, boom, boom. Gotta get dip. Boom, boom, boom. Gotta get dip. Are you too cruisy? No, I'm streptococcus. I got that hit to beat the Excuse me. Are you too cruisy? Yes, I am. Do you mind coming inside for a minute so I can ask you some more about yourself? Sure. You know, I just wanted to apologize for my actions earlier. My name is Tripanazone Cruzy, Cruzy, but on the streets they call me T. Cruzy, and I cause the kissing disease, also known as shotgun disease. I like to hang out and try out of mine bugs, or kissing bugs, and I infect people through my feces or by biting them. I mostly enter the body through mucosa membrane, but I'm not opposed to being passed through blood transfusions or organ transplants. I'm pretty flexible. I even affect babies through breast milk. Do you by chance remember kissing Jennifer? Which one? You know, uh, dark hair, cute, kind of Asian, sort of, maybe? Oh, Jennifer. I came to know Jennifer through the water she drank that was contaminated with my feces. It was love at first sip. So, T. Cruzy, do you mind explaining the kissing techniques you used on Jennifer? Well, I met Jennifer and invited her back to my poor housing home where we had a few drinks. What Jennifer didn't realize was that her drink was contaminated with my feces. I used my variable outer glycoprotein layer to slip past her host cells unnoticed. I made my home in our macrophages, fibroblasts, Schwann cells, and myocytes. Every few weeks, I would change the proteins on my surface to remain safe from our host cells. Once inside her cells, I transformed from my tri tripomastigote into an amastigote. After about three to five days of reproducing my by binary fission, I changed back into my original tripomastigote form and prepared to leave her infected cell, where I just repeated the whole process again. The best part was I used my talents of immunopathology where I tricked Jennifer's cells into attacking their own healthy cells and destroying perfectly good tissue. Mm -hmm. So then how did your kiss cause Jennifer to have a broken heart? Well, after working hard to infect her myofibrils, I caused her to suffer from some cardiac arrhythmias and even put her in heart failure. That's everything up to now. Oh my, does all this make sense, Jennifer? Yes, I now understand why I have a broken heart. Chagas disease and T. Cruzy are to blame. But Dr. Pepper, how do I get better? Well, you're lucky enough not to be experiencing the other common complications, 
such as an inflamed heart, a variety of arterial and ventricle rhythm disturbances, or even death. For those in the acute phase, T. cruzi can be identified by a microscopic examination of fresh anticoagulated blood or parasites, or of thick and thin blood smears, made and stained to see parasites. However, because I think Jennifer is past the acute phase and into the chronic phase, we can test her by performing at least two different serological tests or do a xenodiagnosis. Well, now that you know what to do, I hope that meeting Dr. Pepper was worth your time. Yes, thank you so much, doctors. I got to go and then get diagnosed and treated. Oh, look, a thank you letter from Jennifer. Okay. Hi, Dr. Rhode and Dr. Pepper. I just wanted to thank you so much for your help. I went to CDC for medication because FDA has not approved a drug for Chagas disease treatment yet. The CDC recommended for me to take Nifartimox. I took 90 days by mouth and 8 to 10 milligram per kilogram per day in 3 or 4 divided doses. They told me Nifartimox reduces nitro group from a nitro anion radical, which causes a significant destruction in DNA of T. cruzi. As a Chagas disease survivor, here are some tips for how to prevent the disease. First, promote further screening of blood. Second, avoid sleeping in mud, thatch, or adobe houses. Third, avoid clotting poor housing homes. Lastly, wash yourself and animals regularly. I'm feeling way better and my heart finally sounds like boom, 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 boom. Thank you guys, XOXO. Them chickens jacking my style, they try to copy my swagger. I'm